Hi. Glad to see you in the parks. I hope you're looking forward to your upcoming hike. If you'll hang around the campsite for just a few minutes, I'll tell you everything you need to know to be ready to hit the trails. In trails, players hike back and forth along the trail, gathering resources, taking photos, and spotting wildlife. At the trail head and trail end, you'll be able to spend those resources to earn badges. And who doesn't like badges? I love them. I have three, and I wish it were more. As you hike, the sun will set over the trail, granting more powerful actions to each trail site. But once the sun has fully set, your hike is over and the game ends. The player with the most points from their badges, photos, and the coveted bird trophy wins. Oh, this isn't the bird trophy. This is mine. You win this. It's almost as good. To set up the game, first give each player a hiker with its matching canteen, making sure it's on the filled side. You also start with one acorn, rock, and leaf resource. Shuffle the trail sites and place them side by side, day side up, to form the trail. Form your resource pools by placing the cubes under their matching trail sites. Place the bird trophy below the photo trail site. Place the trailhead to the left of the trail and the trail end to the right, making sure they're on the correct side for your player count. Shuffle the badge deck and place it face down below the trailhead. Place two badge cards face up at both the trailhead and trail end, then each player draws a badge card to keep in their reserve. Keep this card a secret from the other players. Also, you haven't earned this badge yet. You'll need to collect the necessary resources first. More on that soon. Let's finish setting up. Shuffle the photo deck and place it face down below the trail end. Place the wildlife bear on the middle trail tile and the wildlife die nearby where all players can reach it. The sun token goes above the trail end, pointing to the rightmost icon on the sun track. Randomly pick a start player. Maybe rock, paper, scissors, or um, that thing where people put their fingers on their noses, or um, I'm sure you can figure out a method. In a two to three player game, each hiker starts on the trail head facing the trail. In a four player game, the first player and the player to their left put their hiker on the trail end. The other two will start with their hikers on the trail head. All hikers should be facing the trail. But wait, how do you know what direction your hiker is facing? A great question. Your direction is determined by where your hat rim and walking stick are facing. On your turn, you'll move your hiker one or two tiles along the trail, moving in the direction your hiker is facing. No moonwalking on this hike. Then you'll take the action of the tile you land on. Exchange one resource for two of a different resource type. Gain one leaf. Gain one acorn. Pay one of any resource to take a photo. Gain one rock. As the sun sets over the trail, the tiles will flip to their night side, revealing more powerful actions. Gain two rocks. Take a photo for free. Gain two acorns. Gain two leaves. Exchange one resource for one of each of the other two types. When you take a photo, you can do one of two things. You may draw two photo cards from the deck, keeping one and placing the other face up on the discard pile. or you may take the top card of the discard pile. Any photos you take should be kept face down in front of you so the other players don't know what you have. If you ever run out of cards in the photo deck, simply flip the discard pile over and start drawing from that. Don't shuffle it. Photo cards will earn you points or give you birds. Or sometimes both. Whoever spots the most birds during the game wins the coveted bird trophy. Oh, not this one. This one. Other hikers do not block you from a space, so go on, share the trail. If you're feeling in a bit of a hurry, you can use your filled canteen to move any number of tiles in the direction your hiker is facing. Flip your canteen to its empty side. It can't be used again until it's been refilled, which is one of the actions you can take when you land on the trailhead. Let's talk about those trailhead actions. First, turn your hiker to face the trail. If you've used your canteen, refill it by flipping it face up. I was parched. Now it's time to earn those badges. The badges that are available to earn at this location are the two face up badges showing at the trailhead, 
plus the one in your reserve. You can earn as many badges as you have resources for, meaning you could earn all three of these, if you can afford it. The resource cost for each badge is shown here. You'll need to pay that to earn the badge. This is the number of points the badge is worth. If the badge has a bonus action, it'll be shown here. This is a one-time action you take immediately upon earning the badge. Some badges give you bonuses based on the badge type, which can be found here. There are detailed explanations of all the badges in the game in the rulebook. Once your turn is over, replace any face-up badges that you earned with new ones. If you earned the badge in your reserve, draw a new card from the deck to replace it, keeping it secret. There are also actions you take when your hiker lands on the trail end. First, turn your hiker around to face the trail and gain the sun bonus that corresponds with its location on the sun track. For example, this hiker would earn an acorn as their sun bonus. If the sun is over a trail site, you get to take the action of that trail site. Then you'll move the sun one space toward the trailhead. Once the sun has moved over each sun track space on the trail end, it will move over each trail site. When the sun moves off a trail site, it flips to its night side. When the sun moves off the last trail site, it then moves along the sun track spaces on the trail head. The last action you can take at the trail end is earning badges. This is just like earning badges at the trail head. The badges available to you here are the two face-up badges at the trail end along with the one in your reserve. Again, you can earn one, two, or even all three of these. Hey, big spender. While you're hiking along the trail, you may encounter some wildlife. This happens when your hiker lands on a trail site with the wildlife bear. Roll the wildlife die, then move the bear to the site matching the icon you roll. You may take that site's action in addition to your hiker's trail action. And you can take these actions in any order. Bonus! If you roll the bear symbol on the die, you get to choose what site the wildlife bear moves to, but it can never go to the trail head or the trail end. At the end of your turn, check to make sure you have no more than eight resource cubes. If you do, discard cubes of your choice down to eight. Also, check to make sure you have a reserved badge and that there are two face-up badges at both ends of the trail. Then it's the next player's turn. When a player reaches trail end and the sun is on the leftmost face of the sun track, that player takes the sun token and takes a free photo. All the other players get one more turn. Though there are no more sun bonuses since the sun isn't on the track anymore. Once the turn comes back around to the player with the sun token, the game ends. Count your points. Reveal your photo cards and count all your birds, adding to that number any birds that are on your earned badges. The player who spotted the most birds gets that bird trophy, which is worth four points. Now count up all your points from your badges, your photos, and your trophy if you're the lucky son of a gun who won it. Whoever has the most points wins. And now you're ready to hit the trails, make some memories, and enjoy your hike. Thank you.